And, uh, and it often comes at this very high price of uh, losing sight of what is uh, more important or perhaps more valuable. Um, and so I, I, you know, I think there's this, uh, this very strange phenomenon in uh, Silicon Valley where, uh, where a lot of the most uh, talented uh, uh, start, startups, a lot of the great startups, seem to be run by people who are suffering from a mild form of Asperger's. And I think, I think we need to always turn this fact around and uh, view this as an indictment of our whole society. Because what does it say about our society when anyone who does not suffer from Asperger's, who is socially well adapted, will be talked out of all of their original creative ideas before they are even fully formed, who will sense this is a little bit too weird, that's a little bit strange, that sounds a little bit crazy, people are looking at me in a weird way. Um, and I think this is, uh, this is something that we must all uh, realize is, is sort of a deeply endemic problem. They've done these studies at Harvard Business School, which I think you can often think of the business school student as a profile in anti-Asperger's. They're sort of very extroverted, often ha have no real convictions. Um, and, um, <laughs> And, um, and you have sort of a hothouse environment in which you put all these people for two years. And at the, uh, at the end of the two-year process, they've all sort of talked to each other and they've concluded they should all try to catch the last wave.